I have struggled with casting out demons before. I thought what I needed was more prayer. I thought what I needed was more fasting. I fasted and prayed. Nothing happened. The day I understood this, that was when my fasting and prayer became potent. Because if you don't know the truth, it will, un- it will lock the flow of virtue and absolute authority over demons. All types of demons. The ones that bring poverty, the ones that bring sickness, the ones that bring causes, the ones that bring fear, the ones in the body, the ones in the brain, in the mind, any type of demon, you have authority over them because Jesus defeated them when he rose from the dead. And the power he received is not for him. The power he received is for you. And he graciously handed it over before he went to heaven. He said, no, no, take, it's yours. Take, go and manifest. I'm going back to my father. So you didn't have to hold him to collect it. He, he gave it. Say, these signs shall follow them that believe. Anyone who believes has access to the mantle. In my name, cast out devils. The next time they tell you somebody is demonized, tell them, wait, I'm coming. And when you show up with understanding, the demons will flee before you talk. Welcome to the moment of truth. Orokpo just told you that he has the power to cast out the demons, the demon of poverty. But in this next video, why is he asking people to give? Give your money to make impact. Why did he not cast out that demon of poverty in his life? And he asking you to give your own money. Let's hear what he's saying in this video now. See the way they are contradicting themselves. I told you, you have to know God for yourself. Otherwise, they'll be kicking you here and there. They are confused. They are jobless. Instead of them to go and look for a job, they just want to be making the people of God. And I'll come back with the rest of my thoughts. Stay tuned and watch the next video. For you to make impact in your generation, you must touch a favor. You must touch a wisdom. You must receive a direction. Something supernatural must happen to you. And at the foundation of many things is giving. It's giving. Do you see that you do yourself a great disfavor if you choose to be stingy? Please, don't stop doing what God himself prescribed because a pastor bastardized it. I know you met an apostle. I know you met a prophet. I know you met a pastor that swindled you, but it's not a pastor that instituted it. It was the monarch himself that sat down and said, give it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaking together and running over. Shall God cause men to give to your apostle? And so if you want to enter the running over level of life, you must make giving your lifestyle. Lift your hands and talk to the Lord. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 25, verse 14, that the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. If you don't fear the Lord, you don't have relationship with the Almighty Father, and you're looking around for demon to cast out, you will mess up your life. You will mess up yourself. Uh, Arum, um, Orokpo is not telling you the whole truth. Just jumping here and there. And you cannot give what you do not have. He doesn't know the truth himself. Orokpo is in his 40s and he was born into this era of uh, fraternity of Christianity we've been talking about. Have you ever asked yourself why they always run running into each other? You will see it with Kumuyi, you will see it with Dunsi, you will see it with Sema, you will see it with NHL, you will see me everywhere. Osai, everywhere they are bowing down to all kind of gods, to all kind of powers, because they do not know the truth. The Jesus they've been telling you about is a false Jesus. It's not the right one. So you now have to look for the right one yourself. The right one is the God of the Bible. Go and start reading from the book of Matthew. Matthew to Revelation. you find out the truth there. And if God led you to the Genesis, if you want to make reference to anything, but you first of all have to have direct relationship with this God of the Bible. These men, you are following here and there. All of them, all of them, all of them, all of them. I know what I'm talking about. They do not have Christ in them more. Because they have Christ in them. They will do it the way the, the, the owner of the universe wanted them to do it. All of them, they are on the puppets for money. Oh. This one, as you say, hey, you cut out the demon of insecurity. insecurity. He's roaming about with a police guard. He cannot, he cannot move around alone. Look at who is talking, asking for your money. Any pastor, 
that is asking for your money is not doing it the way God Almighty asks them to be doing the gospel. They should go and look for a job. The disciples were working. So if anybody lack, they gather all the money together and help others that are lacked or being disadvantaged. Not you being given to one person. Only them should be given to them. So they are in error. They're coming to fight, so oh. they are coming to fight me every day. Oh, they are saying, Don't generalize, so oh. don't do this, don't do that. Everybody protecting their own brand. Kumuyi say he preaches holiness. What is he doing with Oropo? Adeboye, Adeboye son, what are they doing with Oropo that is making all these errors here and there? Uh, NHL, we don't know what that one is preaching. That one is all over the place, but they are all together. Look at uh, George Zua. He said that uh, um, was not paid off. He was just paying money and he didn't get anything. And he carried himself go under NHL. So can you even sit down and ask yourself, what's going on here? Is NHL not under Oyedeko? So it's all game. Oh. His games is business. You have to know God for yourself. All of them, there's no Christ in them. Anyone that is looking for mentors here and there, it's not of God. Anyone that is referring, eh, my mentor, eh, when I was with my mentor, my mentor did this, my mentor that, that person is in bondage. It's not fit to be on the pulpit. It's not a person of God. They are going around now, going to all the social media, social platform, the celebrities platform that have a huge following to be spitting all kind of nonsense. All kind of rubbish. They are looking for followers, so they are looking for members, so and they be pointing finger to another carcass that they are not him. They are all the same. We don't let anybody deceive you. I've been telling you if you want to know God for yourself, you have to read your Bible. You have to go back to the Bible. You have to forgo all these churches. As, as long as you are still under them or following them online, ah, you are wasting your time. You cannot know the real Christ because they do not have the real Christ themselves. They be they be presented to you, fake Jesus, all liars. They are all liars. They are all deceivers. They have to pay their bills. They have to make themselves great. They have to steal your glory, your destiny. They have to steal your talent, steal everything to make themselves great. Is that Christ? That's not Christ. Eh, you have to be loyal. You, have, you don't have to be loyal to anybody, to any man. Only God you have to be loyal to. You don't have to be loyal to any pastors. We are all brethren. No one is greater than anyone. We are all brethren. They are not telling you the truth. They don't want you to grow in Christ. So they want you to remain under them. You grow yourself in Christ, the Lord, the one that died for you. The one that shed his blood for you on the cross at Calvary. The one that rose again the third day. The one that is sitting right now at the right hand of the Father. That's the only person, your maker, you have to be loyal to. Not to any man. They are forcing you to go and open branches. No. Don't go and open branches. Go and look for a job. God already told us that he has given us power to make wealth. Don't let them drag you into our errors into a crook business. Don't let them destroy your destiny. They are working for Satan. They are working for Satan. Build church, build church. No, there's no need. Don't give them any money to build any church. Instead, if you have money, go and help the needies, the orphans, uh, go to the hospitals, pay people's bills. So that's how you want to, you have to spend your money. Not to be giving it to all these confused Confused dot com pastors that they don't even know what they are doing. They are contradicting themselves here and there. All of them causing errors here and there. And they bombard their, they, they bamboo their, 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 their followers' brains. They make them their slaves. When you talk, they want to go and fight. Everybody protecting their brand. Don't you know that is business? In Christ, not one. Only one person died for everybody now. Why should they have a uh, uh, holiness, uh, word of God, uh, deliverance, uh, faith, all kind of things? It's a business. If you like, you know what, you, you believe what I'm talking about. 
You believe what I'm saying to you. No God for yourself. Nobody can do it for you. John the Baptist was crying. He, I'm, a, I'm a lone voice in the wilderness. That's the way it is. It's still the same t -t today. You have to find that Christ yourself. Oh. Don't let anybody lay hands on you. It's evil hands. They are collecting your destiny, your glory. You see them online. They are all, they are all duping people online. See the way they dupe Mary Gold. Thousands of them. Hundreds of, hundreds of them, they are online. Anybody that is telling you, bring money, let's do business. It's a lie. Do business. I'll give you one million. I'll give you times three. It's a lie. That's the same method they've been using since, since, since 2016. Dupe people online. They've duped a lot of people online. Go and Google it yourself. Do your research. I'm trying to help you. And I will see you on my next video. Bye for now.